I don't want her rotten in prison or anything like that, but nothing's going to bring her girls back. Two young sisters were killed, and the 17-year-old girl who police say is responsible goes to court tomorrow in Clinton County. Now, those charges stem from a car accident last month, killing two sisters as they cuddled on the couch watching TV. Our David McAnally went to Frankfurt tonight to speak with the girl's parents. We're told the suspect is already there in the Clinton County Jail, surrendered earlier Thursday in advance of her first adult court appearance Friday. Their house a total loss, their daughters lost forever. Parents of the two girls killed when a speeding car hit their farmhouse react to adult charges against the 17-year-old driver. It's still not bringing the girls back. I mean, that is what we want more than anything, you know, but some justice. I mean, she should have to, you know, serve her. I mean, she, she did it wrong. Yeah, she destroyed our lives and, you know, she'll have to face some consequences. Once those adult charges are filed Friday, we may learn more about why the teen driver ran off the road, allegedly at more than 80 miles an hour. Her, her life will go on, and there'll be another day for her. There won't be another day for our girls. They say the sky was the limit for 17-year-old Haley, a gifted student bound for Purdue. I think when she got like her SAT scores and stuff, she was in the 95th percentile of the nation. And 8-year-old Callie, the artsy, craftsy one. It didn't matter if you were rich, poor, cool, not. If you needed a friend, she'd be your friend. The sisters were very close. Called it a name every time they'd do it. It was snuggle time. Snuggling, watching TV when it happened. I saw the blast coming out of the house, ran up. Bridget was already out in the driveway. We went in trying to pick the car up off of the girls and just couldn't do it. But just a bad night. Bridget was badly hurt, too. She thinks she had just kissed one of her girls as it happened, then suddenly a car full of teens in her living room. Kids are jumping out of a car in your house on top of the couch where your daughters are. Yeah. But I was praying for God to take me instead. When they think about the teen driver and the adult charges... I don't think she's a, maybe a bad girl. I don't know her at all. But, uh, you know, her, her one night cost us dearly. The parents say they're a little bit nervous about that court appearance on Friday. They said they just live now minute to minute. Back to you. All right, David, our thoughts and prayers with that family.